Are you frustrated with online dating? Confused by all the new apps and fancy dating sites? Do you find yourself choosing the wrong person again and again? Well, studies show that hiring a dating coach can maximize your online dating experience. So no worries, I've got you. And I've created a virtual course called Doing Dating Right. It's a five video series that you can complete at your own pace in your own space, right at home. How to write your online dating bio, pick that perfect picture, and so much more. Want more info? Go to my website at jenniferherbits.com. Again, it's jenniferherbits.com. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hurwitz. I'm your host every Tuesday and every Friday. And today is Friday and it's a just Jen. And I'm so, um, I'm all riled up for this one, y'all, because I was in the shower and I do my best thinking in the shower. And um, I've thought of a great topic today because my girlfriend and I were having a discussion the other day about married people and the advice they give to us about dating. <laughs> and we kind of chuckled. And then we kind of got a little bit frustrated. And um, as a dating coach, I hear this all the time from my clients that their married friends mean well, but that they should just shut the fuck up. And um, so this, you you know, it may ruffle some feathers. And you know that I love that because Just Jen episodes are all about me. Me. Yes, my egocentric self, which um, is so so funny because I think I'm the the least egocentric person. Anywho, but um, yeah, so here's the thing. I'm going to talk today about why married people need to stop giving advice to single people after a divorce who are dating. So dating after divorce people, people who are dating after a divorce. Yes. Now look it. Here's the reason why. And I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons of big, big, big reasons. And yes, if, if you think I'm talking to you, I am. So if, there's, if the, you get this like feeling right now that I'm talking to you, I probably am. If you're married and you've, and you're married for 25 years, you're married for three years, you're married for five years. I don't care if you're married. If you are married currently, and you think that your advice that you're giving to your to your divorced friend while she's she or he is in the dating world, um, the only advice that you should be giving to them is you're gonna you're gonna be okay. You can do this. Be supportive, listen to their stories, fix them up with your friends. That's awesome. Do not give them advice on how to date, where to date, when to date, find a guy at temple, go see that girl at church, you know, uh, honestly, because y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. It's kind of like, I oftentimes say this, unless you go through it yourself, you have no idea what it's like to go through a divorce. You don't. You just don't. You you do not know what it's like. Um, and I hope you never have to know because it's, it's not fun. It's not, um, <clears throat> it's hard. It's, of course, these things are not easy, but dating after divorce, dating after divorce is, is it's, it's, it's the worst. It's the worst until it's good, right? So um, my girlfriend and I were talking about, like, she went, I think she went to, um, to dinner with her, I don't know, her family or something, I don't know, and her friend was there that was married, and she started giving all this advice on, like, you should just get over him. You should just move on. There are other fish in the sea and blah, blah. You know what? Um, yeah, save it save it. And I'm not being mean. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you because when your divorced friend leaves that dinner or she leaves lunch with you, she's going to go home and she's going to say, I'm never going, I I can't do it anymore. I can't be with so-and-so because all she does is make me feel like shit about being single and divorced. Um, we love you. We love our married friends. We hope that you stick around and help us through our, through our, uh, you know, through our, our travels right? Through our experience. But we don't want advice that you know nothing about. It's like when someone starts giving you advice about your kids and they don't have them. (laughs) They're like, oh, you shouldn't give her that fruit roll-up. It's all sugar. And yes, she's right. But like, does she have a kid? Like, shut up. She wants a fucking fruit roll-up. I'm going to give her the fruit roll-up. That's two fruits today. Or, oh my gosh, she has a lot of screen time. Does she always play on her phone like that at the dinner table when you're out? You know what? Do you have a kid? Do you know what it's like? I need a break. I need a break. Of course she's on her phone because mama needs a break, right? Okay. But like, If you don't have kids, you don't really know how to parent them. If you've lost a family member, if you've lost, um, you know, you've grieved a loss of a parent or a a loved one, and I don't know what it feels like because I haven't. I can't give advice. I can empathize. Actually, I can sympathize, right? I can sympathize. I can't empathize because I've never done it. I've never been through it. I can't feel it. So here are a couple things I just want to say. Dating is different. Okay, you may think you know what it's like to date when you're single, but you don't know what it's like to date when you're after divorce. So 
it's different. It's so much different than dating when you were single before you got married. It is so much different, okay? So much different. There's baggage that's different. There's kids involved. There's two mashing of two different, like mushing and mashing of two different families. So please, no, shush, shush, shush. Just listen. Listen and let your person, your divorced friend, vent and talk and be there for her or, or him. Or maybe say, you know what? I know this coach that could help you, right? Um, and look at, like, don't say things that are so dumb, like, you know, you should go on The Bachelor. Oh my God, maybe there's a bachelor for like, like 40 year olds. You should try that. That would be great. Do you think, I mean, who wants to hear that? I should go on The Bachelor. You, you think I want to, you think there's a bachelor for me? I'm 49 for fuck's sake. No, there's no bachelor for me. Okay. As a relationship expert, I know a little something about doing relationships right and how important it is to maintain intimacy without feeling anxiety or shame. Research shows that one of the leading causes of divorce is lack of affection and attention. Well, no worries, I've got you. I have discovered Promescent to help alleviate intimacy issues and help build a healthy romantic connection with your partner. Grab all your sexual wellness needs in one convenient spot. Over 2,000 healthcare professionals recommend it, and clinical studies prove that it works. Promescent.com has something for everyone. Delay spray to help men last longer in bed, arousal gel for women to enhance sexual pleasure, and Vitaflux for men and women. It's a supplement that boosts libido and sexual functioning. I love it all. Look, I could go on for days, but you have to go see for yourself, so check it out. Promescent.com with free, discreet shipping and a 60-day money-back guarantee. What do you have to lose? Go on. It's Promescent.com. That's P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T dot com. Or this is my favorite, one of my favorites. Well, if you would maybe get out and do something or when you, you know, maybe if you just get off the couch or, you know, stop feeling so sorry for yourself. Ooh, 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 no, 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 please save that one. Save that one, y'all. That's not helping. That's not helping. If you stop feeling sorry, or, or my favorite, this is another one that I love too. It's, um, oh, just wait, just wait. It's, you know, it, it will happen. The worlds will collide and you will find your person. <laughs> okay. Look, it, it, you know, he's out there. It's meant to be. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Look, dating when you're after divorce, dating after divorce has to be intentional. You can't just wait for the stars to align and two plans to crisscross and all that bullshit woo woo crap. Okay. It has to be intentional because you have kids. Okay, a lot of us have kids and we don't want to waste our time or take away time from our children if it's not going to be something worth worth it, right? We don't want to waste our time and energy on someone who's who doesn't want to be, you know, looking for a long-term relationship if we are or vice versa. So it's intentional dating. So when my clients come to me and they're looking to date, they don't want to waste their time with some dickhead who's not interested. Okay, so it's intentional dating. It's not, oh, I'm going to go walk down the street and he'll walk serendipitous what bull- bullshit, okay? So all these things that you think you're saying because you're helping, you're not. And I don't mean to be mean. I hope that you guys aren't thinking I'm being a, oh, no, I'm not mean. I'm not mean. I'm just honest, okay? I'm honest. I'm trying to help you so your friends don't want to be with you, okay? <laughs> because I have so many clients that are like, I cannot hang out with so-and-so. She's married and she just says the, the stupidest shit. So I'm trying to help, just, you know. Um, oh, this is another one that is like so hurtful. And I, I know you mean well. I know you mean well, but this is one that you must stop saying. Look, anybody you date is better than the asshole you are married to. Okay. That is not okay. It is not okay. That is, oh yeah, good old, I, I cannot even take it. That's not okay. Okay, because anybody you date could maybe be worse than the person that you were married to. You never know. I've dated some guys that were 10 times worse than the guy I was married to. That I wish that I was married to, I I stayed married because these assholes were so horrible. So look, while you think you're being helpful, that shit is not helpful. It is not. Or one of my favorites too, another one, my other favorite is, this time you should marry for money. Oh, ha ha. I love that one. Like you married for love and like, you know, next time you should marry for money. How about you just shut it? How about you shut it? Now, look, it doesn't mean that like your divorce friends aren't going to say like similar shit because they may, but guess what? They, it's, they can. 
it's it's a right that comes with being divorced. You all sit around and you talk about your shit and you go through stuff together and it's a certain bond you have and you just have each other and you go down the road together and it's kumbaya to the divorce g- girls and guys and we all hang out together and that's just the way it goes. Married people, we love you. We love you. We love you. We want to go out with you and your husband maybe for a drink. We just don't want you to tell us how to date because you don't know. And I hope you never have to know. That's right. I hope you have never have to know. Um, yeah. So that's it. I just want to give my little rant about um, married people. Please check it. Bavakasha. Hey. Okay. It's my little my little Jewish song for today, which means shut it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. So yeah. So if you're dating and you come upon, that didn't sound good. You come across a married person who says these things to you, um, you know, be kind. Maybe say something like, you know what? While I think your advice is is you know, coming from a good place and from your heart, I really would appreciate it if uh, you just keep it to yourself because it's not helping me. And dating is really difficult and I'm trying as hard as I can. And yes, when I go to the grocery store, I put on lipstick. Thanks. And yes, when I'm in the cantaloupe aisle, if a nice gentleman walks by, I I make eye contact. I'm trying the best I can. And um, I'm even going to hire a dating coach and see where it goes. But for now, you know, it's just a lot of pressure when someone who's married um, makes me feel like shit about my dating life. There. How's that? Let's try that. So that is that. And that's all I've got for you. And I love you married people. Um, my sister's married. And, and she gives me advice all the time. But you know what? It's, it's not like that. It's good advice. It's like, Jen, you've got this. Or, you know what, Jen? Whatever happens, it's going to be okay. Like, that's advice that we want. Like, supportive, lifting us up, and, you know, good stuff. So... That is my Just Jen episode for today. It was nine minutes. Wait, I can't even see it. My glasses aren't on. I think it was like nine minutes or something. So, so fast. I love it. And um, that's all I got for you today, you guys. That's all I got. So this is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hervitson. I'm your host, you know, every Friday and every Tuesday. And just do something fabulous this weekend. I'm not sure what. Um, go check out my sponsor, promescent.com. See what they have over there on the website. Maybe you want to play with something that you can buy over there. Oof, they've got some fancy little products over there, some lube and, oof, I don't know, other good stuff. I always say the lube. I don't know why, but there's other good stuff there. So check out promescent.com and have a fabulous weekend. Um, and next week is, who's on the next week? Next Tuesday. I don't remember. Oh, Coach T is next week. Coach T. Oh, it's going to be a good one. We're going to talk about men and dating. And um, he has some secrets he's going to share. So peace, love, and so much truth, y'all. Have a fabulous weekend, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye.